Hi, I'm Michelle Karam with Dishes by Michelle in Los Angeles, California. One of those drinks that you might think about over the holidays or Christmas time is eggnog. I'm here today to teach you how to make a recipe for traditional holiday eggnog. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to take egg yolks and egg whites and separate them. I have six egg yolks that I've separated and I've reserved the six egg whites in this bowl over here that we're going to use a little bit later. I've also gone ahead and added one cup of sugar to these egg yolks and I'm going to go ahead and beat them for 10 minutes until it turns the color of butter and it becomes kind of thick and creamy, pretty stiff. I'm now going to add one cup of bourbon and three eighths of a cup of brandy that I'm going to slowly add to this and I'm going to mix it for the next five minutes and keep just incorporating it in there real slow. Okay, so now that this has been well combined and it looks like eggnog already, it smells like eggnog already, but we have a few more steps. I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it into my refrigerator covered for up to six hours. You could possibly do this the morning of if you were having a party, prepare it up to this step. And then 30 minutes before your guests arrive, you're going to go ahead and complete the rest of the steps. But let's get this in the fridge for now. So I've gone ahead and I've taken my egg yolk, sugar, brandy, and bourbon mixture out of the refrigerator. It's been there for the last four hours. And now I'm going to go ahead and add three cups of whole milk to this. Once it's all combined together, I'm then going to take three quarters of a teaspoon of nutmeg and add this to the mixture as well. And if you find that your nutmeg kind of maybe clumps up on you a little bit, you can also go ahead and use a whisk to go ahead and break that up in there. Now remember, you're working with raw eggs here, so you need to make sure that everything stays at the right temperature and it stays cold because you run the risk of salmonella and other bacteria that can develop in these. So that's why every time you're done with a step, you need to put your mixture back into the fridge to make sure that it stays cool. My next two steps is I'm going to go ahead and whip the cream until it forms stiff white peaks and I'm also going to beat the egg whites until they do the same and then we'll incorporate that into our mixture. All right, so as you can see, I've got my stiff white peaks here and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take these egg yolks, egg whites, and we're actually going to fold them into the egg yolk and brandy and sugar mixture. And you just start from the center and you just work your way around to the edges, kind of almost just twirling your, your spoon so that you're not breaking up the egg whites because you want to keep that fluffiness, that lightness that you're getting from beating the egg whites. And now we're gonna take our whipped cream that we've done and now we're gonna gently fold this in there as well. And it's light, it's fluffy, it's foamy, it should have like a real um, buttery looking color to it, almost like a beige looking color to it. You could put this back in the refrigerator to chill for a little while or you could serve it immediately to your guests. I'm actually going to pour a little bit for myself right now and go ahead and just, you can pour a little bit in there and after you've um, put a little bit in there, you can go ahead and just, let's clean that off. There we go. You can go ahead and just sprinkle just a little bit more nutmeg on top of it just to add that flavor and it also just looks real pretty too. Now it's for the taste test. Oh, that's really good. I might have a little bit more myself. I'm Michelle Karam with Dishes by Michelle. Thank you so much for watching my video on holiday eggnog.